Hi everyone and welcome to part 12 of Let's Build New York Brownstones. So last time we came pretty close to finishing this apartment here. We just have to make some final touches to it and then it'll be done. And hopefully we'll be able to start on the next building this part as well because I did want to finish the communal laundry area that's in the basement of the next building. And hopefully we'll even have time to start on one of the apartments but I'm not holding my breath on that because I have a tendency to think I could do more than I can but I'll be happy if I at least finish the laundry area. So the main thing we have to do with this apartment is finish the bedroom because I stopped a bit short of finishing it. So what I was thinking was that here in this cauldron area, we could add a shelf in and put some of the potions on that. And then maybe put that decoration with a dried herbs on it under it. You know, like maybe that's something that they use for these potions as well. So this shelf here is really pretty. So we could use that one or even this one or this one. Because I'm kind of wanting a shelf that's more ornate and wooden and a little bit bigger. So this one here could even work pretty well for that. Yeah, I like that. That fits in pretty well with this build. All right, so we can get this shelf. Actually, I'm going to move it a bit away so the stuff doesn't snap to it instead of the... You know, so when I'm trying to place the stuff doesn't snap to it. And I think that height's pretty good. All right, so let's go to debug and then sort by Roll of Magic. And then from there, we'll be able to grab those potions. We do also need to find somewhere to put some wands. Yeah, because that is definitely very important for this kind of apartment. So I think we're going to have to fit some kind of table in. And then actually, I'm going to grab this because I'm sure we're going to need that to put a wand in. And maybe a couple of them. I'm not sure if I want to have two wands. I mean, I guess since I was thinking maybe this could be for a couple, we should have two wands in here. But I guess, I don't know if we want to have a potion of nausea. Maybe uh, like some good potions, you know, like potions that they would want to use to help themselves out a little bit. A uh, potion of emotional stability. I think we're going to be able to fit. Actually, do these even? Oh, these actually snapped to this. So I didn't need to get that out. All right. So we'll, we can just fill this whole thing up with some of these. Okay, so we'll grab that. A uh, potion of perk purging. I, I guess we'll just put that. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Masterful insults. That sounds like a fun one. Cursed. Curse cleansing. Okay, so that removes all curses. That seems like a good one to have potion of rejuvenation. Okay, so I think, um, you know, we can always uh, throw one of these in just so we didn't get the shelf out for nothing. All right, so I think that's good. And then let me find that whole wall decoration here. And we'll just size that down once and see if we can fit that in nicely beneath this. Yeah, I think that's, we can get up and get up in here a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. And i probably going to have that be all in here. I mean, maybe we could take this out of here and then move it in here. Because Elliot did actually suggest that instead of having this painting on the living room, maybe what I should do is have a grandfather clock out there. So we're just going to go ahead and make that change. And those were, I think those were actually in electronics under miscellaneous. Oh yeah, here are the nicer ones. I'm feeling this one. Whoops. Okay, so we'll just have that right there. And hopefully that should be fine as far as routing goes. Yeah, I actually haven't play tested this yet. I kind of forgot to do that. But that should hopefully be fine. Okay, so I think that's about all that I wanted to do out in that area. So everything else with this apartment, I believe, is with the bedroom. Uh, so another thing was that JK suggested moving the mirror into the corner over here where I had the plant just so that way we have a bit more wall space in this room which would be good because we do need somewhere to put this whole wand thing and we're just going to get rid of this because we really don't have any space to put it which is fine because I did use that plant in this apartment in another place so let's go ahead and sort by surfaces find one that we didn't use so we didn't end up using this one out there but I'm kind of worried about rallying with this but I think it should be fine yeah, they should be able to get through that. They're pretty good. And this should snap. Okay, that's actually not going to snap. I mean, it, it's, you know, maybe we can just float them, like, or have the wand sitting on out on the table. That should be fine. Because I'm kind of worried there's going to be some issue if it doesn't snap to a surface. So let's see what we have. We have a natural wand. Okay, good. These snap to the surface but kind of weird. oh that's fine that's fine that works so i think we just have the wand sitting out on the table okay those are the brooms oh this is a really cool wand although the 
thing is the wand case looks a lot nicer. So maybe we will just do that and it should be fine. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure the wand is an image that you can just grab in. Like you can just grab it wherever it is. You know, like your sims. It doesn't, you know, it's kind of like the plates where you can drag them. You can pick them up and drag them into your inventory and all of that. So hopefully it should be fine. Oh, uh, because I do like the look of just having one wand in that nice table there. And maybe what we can do, so we get that other wand in, is actually put it on one of the end tables, or either the dresser or the end table. You know, like, because this is a really nice wand, so maybe it's like their prized wand that they want to keep locked away. And then the other one just kind of sits out. So let's find one. Yeah, this is kind of like your typical magician's wand. That's kind of cool that they have that. But I don't think I want to go with that one. Oh, the star wand's really cool. We got a marble wand. I think we'll use the natural wand. And, uh, okay, so it does snap to this surface, but not, not very well. We can just do this whole trick here to try to get it to look like it's on the table. All right, so there we go. We got our two wands in here. And I think I'm going to do the thing that I've done in some of the realm cast, or realm cast, or some of the spellcaster houses that I built where I take these candles and then stick them next to it. I know I probably shouldn't repeat stuff like that between builds, but I just thought this looked so cool. Like it's this little shrine display thing for the for the wand to make it feel more special. I don't, <laughs> I don't think wands feel special or anything though, but whatever, we're just gonna do it. And then we can get another one of these paintings above here, but with a different thing on it. Uh, like this one actually works with, uh, yeah, I think this works with the woods we have in this room. Or we could do this one. Yeah, I like having this different picture on it. And then another thing that was suggested was that the Yorkshire Simmer 83 said that I should try to use the oval painting that came with vampires somewhere because it does fit the feel of this apartment very well. So I'm going to see see if we can fit it. Actually, it doesn't really fit above there that well. Uh, so you know what? Instead of using this painting here, we could take this one and add it there and then move this down just a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's just so that way it's not really intersecting with the currents as much. We'll just look through and find a swatch of it that might work. Yeah, this is really nice. Or was there... Yeah, I don't think there was a wooden swatch. It's like other, either black or these lighter colors. Maybe the black one? Yeah, I think the black one looks a little bit better in here. Okay, so do we need anything else? Maybe we can size down this tapestry. Oh, what if we size down this tapestry and then stuck it here? And then we can figure out something over here, like this size down perhaps? Yeah, yeah I think that looks nice. All right, so I'll move you like that and then figure out another swatch of this tapestry that works. Oh, this is really pretty and goes really well with this room. And it might look a little bit, yeah, it looks a little bit better if we center it over that. Okay, I think that's about all we really need for here. Oh, yeah, maybe a hamper, because I kind of forgot about that. Um, so we'll just grab this so it's a little bit easier to find. Uh, where are we going to fit this, though? Because we're sort of running out of space. Uh, might be fine if we have it here. Or... Yeah, I think they can get... The only problem is I'm worried they won't be able to get through to use the cauldron. And we don't... I mean, this might actually work. I'm going to have to check this, but... If we move this into the wall as much as possible, it might actually still work with the routing. Because I really don't want to cram any more into this bedroom here. Because I think the bedroom is pretty good. And with that, that is it for this apartment. That is it for this whole building. We have finally moved on from the first out of three buildings. And it only took 12 parts, so yeah, unfortunately I think this series is going to be at least 20 parts, but that's fine. As I mentioned before, it's kind of cool to be doing this longer project with you all. So with that, let's move on to the next building. And as I said earlier, we're going to start with the communal laundry area, which is going to be this area right here. And then this is going to be yet another apartment, but I'll get to my ideas for that a little later on after we finish this. So... We can grab this door here, and I kind of wish there were, um, I think I'm going to use different lights in this hall area, because I do want this building to be a bit nicer. Like, I want even the basement apartment to be nicer. So rather than this dingy light, we're just going to use this one in here. And let's make sure this side is facing out here. And we'll go with that. 
And I want to make a nicer door going into this area. I don't want to use the shabby door here. So we'll use... Uh, this door's pretty nice. Um, so I think we can go with that. Or maybe we should go with a door with a window in it. Maybe that's something that would be better to have in here like this. Yeah, I think this would actually work. Oh, wait, that's the door we used here. But I think that's fine. We can use that inside, no problem. What if we... The only problem is we don't have a white swatch of this door with the apartment numbers. So I think we'll just go with that for in here. Although this door is white and that bugs me a little bit. And I kind of wanted... You know what? Let's just... We don't have to use this door here. Yeah, we can just do without the apartment numbers. So we're going to go for this door instead. And then have this building be a little bit brighter looking. And as far as the flooring in here goes, I wanted to try using this flooring. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And we're going to go for the typical, like, kind of plain wallpaper, like these ones here. And I wanted this room to be more neutral and beige. So we're going to go with that. And I'm thinking for these windows here, we should probably use some sort of blinds. So these could work. Yeah, I like those. Uh, do we have more of... Okay, good. We do have more of a pure white swatch. And let's go ahead and get those washing machines in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these stacked ones and just have them going all down here. Maybe some on this side as well. Because uh, this is kind of like... This is... I mean, I might have laundry over in this building here since that's a house. But this is going to be like the main laundry for this whole... You know, for all of these apartments. So we want to have a lot. And I just want to make them all the white swatch. That looks pretty nice. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some benches in the center. And we'll just add some decorations like some laundry baskets and hampers. So it looks like, you know, people are folding their clothes and bringing their hampers down here to do their laundry. And we'll just have three more of these over here on this side. And then this will be empty. And I think that's plenty. I mean, probably a little overkill, but it's fine. All right, and then let's go to miscellaneous seating and wait, not that and grab, I'm thinking this bench. So two of these will probably be good. Okay. Yeah, so those ones in there, is that centered? Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll space it out a little bit like that and go with this color. So let's go ahead and grab those. Um, actually, it might be easier if we just eyedropper this. So we can have this maybe right here. Just kind of like someone brought it in and left it sitting there. And let's go over here to decorations and grab that laundry basket to use. So I'm thinking we can have a couple of these in different colors. Oh, maybe what we can also do is take one of them and like make it look like it's sitting on top of this. That might, might, might be kind of cool. Yeah, let's try that. I think it should actually... Yeah, I think that's actually the right height to look like it's sitting on top of this without floating. Or not. Never mind. That is floating. I think what we're going to have to do instead is raise this down a little bit or move this, lower this down a little bit and do that. Which isn't perfect, but it's fine. And then we'll get another swatch of that. So what do we use over here? Okay, so we have the pink one there. So I think we'll have this one be the yellow. And then I wanted to add some laundry detergent and such around here so what we can do is take one of these and just have it up here kind of like someone just randomly left that up here for some reason and then we can bring this like it's someone's little cleaning basket that they brought with them i like that one and there was also that other detergent item that came with get famous but i'm not sure if that's going to work well enough for this we could try that though where was it? Uh, there's... Okay, there's a lot of items for, from this pack, so... Maybe we don't want to do shawl here. Uh, this thing, yeah, that's... That's perfect. Uh, so what if we... Where do we want to have this? So we could have this just sitting up here. Although I'm thinking we're gonna have the same issue with this. That actually doesn't look too bad. So you can be there. Just so we have some different kinds of laundry detergent. And then what else do we need in here? Maybe a plant. Like a nice decorative plant to make the area feel a little bit nicer. We haven't used this one yet. Oh, and we can also add in an ironing board. Like one of those decorations that came with laundry day stuff. 
Yeah, that would be good to have. Okay, there that is. So we could even have a couple of these to choose from. And we want to figure out another color for this. Uh, or maybe we can have both of them be the same? Yeah, let's have both of them be the same. You know, perhaps I just bought two of the same laundry or same ironing boards. Um, and then over here, we can have a broom to clean up any potential messes. And I'm not sure what else we really need in here. Maybe a nice painting? Because I don't think this area really needs to be super cluttered. What if we have this in here as a light? No, I think what we have is fine. I'll just center this a bit more in here. But on second thought, let's get rid of the plant here and just replace it with a chair. Because something about that feels kind of off. Uh, let's go to living chairs. And there were the chairs that came with get to work that feel very community lot like. Although I'm not, eh, I think that's fine. Yeah, that, mm, maybe not. Let's go with this one. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll just figure out something to put over here. Maybe, maybe some kind of billboard decoration, like something, do we have anything good like that? Like something that looks like it's advertising something else. Oh, we have this. I, I don't know. Maybe it's advertising like some furniture store. That could work. Like there are some good ones that came with, or even this. Maybe that one would be better. Or what if we added that cork board that looks like it had, has all the notices on it? That could be something good to have in here because this is more of a community area. I mean, I know we have the community boards throughout this build, but still, I think this, yeah, this definitely feels a lot better for this room than those posters. And I feel like that's about it. I mean, do we need a rug in here? Let's see, because I know there were some ones that looked like fatigue mats. So this could actually be good to have in here, like this one. Although that might... No, I don't think we need that. Yeah, I think that's about all we really need for this room. So I think we're good on this. And we have plenty of time to actually start on the next apartment. And then as usual, I'm just going to do this whole hall area myself before the next bar. Just because I, I don't think those are, those are very exciting areas to finish. But let's go ahead and fin figure out what we're going to do for the floor plan of this apartment. So we could do something kind of similar to what we did with this apartment. Where you have the bathroom as you come in the entrance. Which... I do think worked pretty well. So we can just try that again. I mean, this apartment is actually bigger, so it's gonna be slightly different. And then we do have more space in here for the kitchen. So we're just gonna do that once again. And then bedroom, I'm thinking bedroom here again, maybe. And then this can be the living area. So as far as the kind of sim we're gonna furnish this for, what I'm thinking we can do is make this a YouTuber's apartment because Lise, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, suggested that we make that. And I know I was saying before that I wanted to make this a criminal's apartment, but I did a criminal's apartment build recently, or I did that last week. And in that, I was saying that because I went with a whole grimy, dark criminal for that apartment, that maybe we should do something for something different for a criminal apartment in this series. And Sky Chat 658 and Pajana Party suggested that we could go for more of a white collar art thief kind of a thing for this series. So what I'm thinking is that instead of using this as the criminal apartment, because I don't think this is going to work well for more of a high-end art thief kind of a sim, what we can do is use one of these apartments up here for that. That way we have more space, it could be a little bit nicer. And then this would work well as an apartment for a YouTuber who is maybe trying to make it, you know, make it in that, you know, like they're maybe going to school or doing something else on the side, but then they're spending their free time working on that. So they have a little bit of a smaller apartment, but I do want to make this one nicer. So rather than feeling just dingy and grimy like this one does, I want this to feel a little bit brighter. I want it to have nicer wallpaper, like perhaps this wallpaper even, and then it can have nicer, lighter flooring. So we can have this have kind of a cutesy, almost Tumblr-esque feel to it. I think that'd be really nice because I definitely don't want this to feel the exact same as this apartment. You know, I don't want to repeat things too much in this series. So we'll do that and then figure out some kind of nicer flooring to have here in the kitchen. Like we could go with this one. I think that actually works pretty well for the feel. Because I wanted to feel nice but not like super modern and nice. So I think we'll go with that. Um, I could always change that. But I do want to grab this and use this to separate it. 
just to make it look like there's kind of a tread separating these two different kinds of flooring. And then we'll go ahead and get a light in here in this bathroom, and then we can have another light in the kitchen. And this one can come further out here in the center of this area. And we'll add some sort of wall light into here. Oh, actually, maybe we should use a different flooring because I did use that upstairs in the kitchens. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. We could even... Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Or we could even do that one. Yeah, I actually really like that one. And we're going to go ahead and grab a different color of this fence because I'm not really feeling that one anymore. So what about something a bit closer to the color of the wood that we used out here in the main area? Okay, that's pretty much the same. Let's try this one. I think that was what we had in there originally. Whoops, did not mean to do that. The lighter one might have actually looked a little bit better. Uh, we can try this one. Oh no, not that one. Okay, we're just we're just gonna stick with this one. I think this one looked the best out of what we tried. So I think what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do in this part is I'm going to figure out more so the basics of what we're gonna do. You know, I think we're just gonna kind of lay out the furniture and get a start on it, and then next time we'll add in all the details. So once again, I wanted to add a sliding glass door going out here, so we're just gonna have that in the same spot, and then change that to I'm thinking white for this building. Because this building did have a lighter color scheme as far as the windows and doors went. And we're just going to have this window here. Alright, so that a little, little bit more light into this apartment. And I am thinking we're going to go kind of the same thing where the bed's over here. Because I thought that did work pretty well. So let's go with something that looks very nice and clean. So we could use this nicer version of this bed. Because I think this one was the used one. Yeah, that looks like the crappier version. So we're going to have this one be like kind of a nice, clean, white color just to make this feel very nice and bright and pretty. You know, like they're trying to make the best of this small space. And I'm going to wait to pick out the end table. But I did want to make sure to get the video making station in here because that is going to be very important for this apartment. We'll just go with this one right here and pick out our own chair for that. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way of the door. It should be fine. And then we can get the nicer drone down here. So I'm not sure if I want to go with the gamer chair for this, or we could go with the bubble chair. I think that, yeah, I think that actually looks pretty cool. And then for this window, we're just going to go with this current, but in a white color. Okay, that works. And then we'll add another one over this door. Um, do we want to go with the wider version of that? Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we'll just have that up there. Yeah, this is already coming together pretty well. And I'm thinking for the end table, we could use the Seasons one because that actually has some pretty good swatches to go with this bed, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, that's not perfect, but I think that does actually go with this very nicely. And let's go ahead and find a lamp. So I'm thinking the Seasons one. And we'll go, just go with white for that. And I'm going to go ahead and lay out the kitchen, like get the, you know, get the counters and the appliances and all of that in here. So for the fridge, I want to go with the slightly nicer one. So I'm thinking this one, or we could even just go with this one. Yeah, I think this one might be better because I don't want this to be super nice. Or we could go with this one in more of a white swatch. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. And then let's figure out what we're going to do for the counters. So we could always keep with the cool kitchen stuff theme and use this one. That coloring of it actually looks pretty nice because I want this to feel a little bit more modern. We could also go with the parenthood counters. I think these actually could work pretty well. Perhaps in this swatch though. Oh yeah, that actually looks really good. Yes, yeah, so I think we're going to try going with this. And we'll have the stove back here. So I'm going to stick with this one and then go for that swatch. And back to the counters, let's just get the... Okay, we're gonna have a regular one over here, so might as well just get that in. Now we just gotta get the corner ones to fit in there. So definitely it's nice that this apartment has a bit more space for a basement apartment than the other one. But on second thought, I'm not really feeling this oven. So we're gonna use this one instead. Yeah, that one looks a lot better. And I actually wanna try this fridge. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that one. Yeah, I do tend to use the Cool Kitchen stuff one a lot. Or, this one is a bit pricey, but we could even use this one since it does go with this counter set. 
Like, do we have it in more of the white, like in a white appliance color? Uh, never mind, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's just go back to this one. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit too nice for here. All right, and then we just got to get the cabinets up above here. So we'll go with you, and then we got to get the corner cabinets over in these spots. And about the stove, we're just going to go with this. And right, we need to pick, figure out somewhere to put the sink in. So I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have the sink over in this spot because I do not like having sinks on the end. And this one in this color should work. All right, so we got the basic layout of that done. And I think we can also maybe even give this apartment a dishwasher. Or maybe not. Maybe not. No, no that might be a little bit too much. The only problem is we really don't have space for a dining table in here unless we scoot that down a little bit. We might be able to cram something in here. I think that could work fine. Another option is to just have the dining table over here. Like we could have the table in this spot and then chairs on either side of it and kind of go in front of the refrigerator a little bit. Yeah, I think that could work pretty well so we don't have the exact same layout as this apartment over here. And then we could fit an ice big wardrobe in over in this spot. And we got to figure out somewhere to put a TV in though. Um, maybe the TV could go up here. And I guess we'll just have to stand to watch it or sit in this chair. I don't think I'm going to get into that in this part though. We'll just keep it pretty basic in this part. But something else I wanted to do is figure out where we're going to put everything in the bathroom. So I'm thinking we'll go with this and then have this over here and then the toilet and sink can go in this spot. So let's pick something kind of fun for this. So I'm like, that could work. Nah, I don't know about that. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm digging this one for this apartment, but let's look at everything else. Uh, this one also could be neat. Uh, this one's also pretty neat. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. And let's get that toilet and sink over here. Okay, so we'll add that toilet in and use this cabinet in white above that. And perhaps we could also use the sink that came with Parenthood just to kind of fit with the theme. I wonder if, yeah, let's go with that one just so it's not too much white. And after that, we just had to figure out a mirror for above this. And I think, we, you know what? I think I'm actually just going to go for it and finish this bathroom in this part because the bathroom is always a really quick room to furnish. So, I mean, we might as well just go for it. Yeah, I'm I feel like I'm actually getting a lot more done in this part, but I think that's because the laundry area was a lot easier to furnish than a whole apartment would be. So we're thankfully able to knock that out super quick. But we'll just sort my bathroom to get this other stuff. Okay, so we need to have a toothbrush. And then a thing of soap. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit much more in here um, above the counter. Maybe that, um, maybe I can fit that basket with the lotions and stuff in it on here. Like if we turn it like this. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that. Because I feel like that's kind of big and hard to place stuff without it snapping to it. Although, ugh, okay, let's get that back because I actually have it a little bit too low. So just raise that up a smidge. And that should be good. And we'll get that over a little bit and that should be fine. So we'll go with this swatch of that and just get a towel in here. And let's go with something brighter, like maybe yellow. Or we could just go with black. Or maybe white. I don't know. I feel like the color scheme of this apartment is kind of like more bright neutral. So I think this does work for here. And then we, of course, have to remember the toilet paper roll. And let's go ahead and get a kitchen or get a bathroom trash can in here. Or actually, that's not going to fit. So let's grab putting one in there. And then I'm going to put that out there so I don't forget that. And I think that's it for this area. So we just got to figure out some kind of bath mat to place here. So I'm just going to go for the one that came with Parenthood. Uh, this one here. And I feel like the white swatch of it is probably going to look the best in here, this one. And let's go back and just get a bath towel and maybe a bathrobe decoration if we have room for that. And I think that's going to be it that we really need in here. So I'm thinking just this towel. Just like the nice, simple one. Or actually, let's go for this one instead. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I think we're going to be able to fit this, although I don't know if you want to have your bathroom hanging next to the toilet, but it's just a decoration, so that's fine. Or mm, let's, let's, uh, let's, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's just get rid of that. And then have this in here a little bit, space that out. And we can just get a nice painting in here above that. And I think that's going to be it. 
Yeah, this one. This one looks nice. Kind of fits the vibe of the apartment. Okay, so that is it for the bathroom of this apartment. I think I will just place a wardrobe and dining room table in here after all. So I'm just gonna go with that idea I mentioned before of having the wardrobe over here and then the dining table over against this wall. So I'm gonna go with this one. And we'll just use that swatch. That looks pretty nice. And I think this trash can is fine right here. So we'll just leave that be. And let's go over here and figure out what we're gonna do for a table now. Uh, so there is that one. I don't know if that really goes with the look of this. Oh, this one could work too. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out what chair we're gonna use. Um, we have this one, but I don't know if there's any swatches that comes in that I really like. I mean, this one here could also be a good option. And I think it does go with the style of this apartment pretty well. Um, I actually like this color. I mean, I feel like that might be a lot of white though, so I probably should switch it up a little bit. But I do think it looks good. Um, I mean, another thing we can do is change that to this swatch just to break that up somewhat. And then we'll go with this one after all. Okay, that works pretty well. And this actually fits in nicely in this spot. It says that worked out. We'll just go ahead and take this trash can and put it here just because I wasn't really liking it just sitting over here next to the wardrobe. And I'm not sure if I really want to do anything else with this apartment in this part. I feel like this is actually a pretty good start. So... I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. We'll, of course, go through and finish this apartment and add all the details to it in the next part and hopefully be able to start on one of the apartments upstairs in this building. So that's going to be all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.